Hey everybody, uh, happy Thursday. I am back with another video. Um, and as promised, I decided to show you my Skipper doll collection. Um, Skipper was sort of a favorite character of mine, I would say in like the 90s-ish. I liked that particular doll, um, but I have some from uh, the uh, 70s, I think, and 80s and 90s that I'm gonna show you. Um, so the oldest one that I have is the Western Skipper doll. Um, and I'm not sure that they came out with a lot of dolls that had this particular face. Um, the ones that came out in the 70s looked different, if I'm not mistaken. The 90s ones looked different, and I think they came out with some in the 2000s that were like really super modernized looking. Um, I don't have any of those ones, but I do have... Uh, I think I have one from the 70s and I have some from the 90s. Um, so she came out in 81. She came out with uh, a Barbie and Ken. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the Barbie is the one that had a winking eye. You pressed a button in the back and she would wink at you. Um, which those dolls didn't really hold up very well because a lot of kids would actually uh, rip the eyelid off of the doll. Um, so it's not really easy to find any that work all that well, and I don't know that they worked all that well in the beginning. Um, but this Skipper doll is actually a pretty cute doll. Uh, so there she is. There's the front of her box. Oh, and I guess she has a lasso that she can twirl around. I've never had one of these out, out of the box um, to play with, so I'm just going by what the box tells me. And I think she had a horse as well that you could purchase. There's some little details. Oh, there's Ken. Yeehaw, Ken! And there's your Barbie. Which, I mean, it's 81, but they definitely look... They look to me like 70s type of graphics on the box. Alright, so that is Western Skipper. She's cute. I like her very much. Alright, and uh, another Skipper that I have from a collection of other dolls that I have is the Tropical Skipper doll. So you can see her face looks different. She's smiling. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the way that this face looks. I don't know why. She just looks like she's got disproportioned features or something. Maybe her forehead's too big. I don't know. She looks kind of special. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do have the other Tropical dolls that maybe I will end up showing you in another video. There was like a Miko, um, which I think Miko was kind of short-lived also, um, which actually she's on the back of this box. And I always thought she was very pretty. She, she lasted a little while. I think they made a few of her um, before she just, you know, disappeared. Like a lot of the uh, Barbie friends, family and friends tend to look different and just disappear altogether. Um, all right, here is the side. I don't know, does she have any special features? I guess she's just got really long hair. And she came with a ruffle. There's the ruffle. So I guess the ruffle you can, uh, you can change. Is that what the side of the box shows you? Yes. She can wear the ruffle in different ways. So, I mean, she didn't come with a whole lot of stuff, but um, I think a lot of the the Barbie and friends that come with bathing suits or, you know, or beach related dolls. Um, I think people collect that specific genre of dolls. So that's probably why these were popular. And again, because of the, the Miko, I think a lot of people like the Miko as well. So that is the Tropical Skipper doll. Now I have a doll that I got at a, uh, like a secondhand store or whatever you want to call it. Um, that looks very similar to her. Face-wise, sorry, she don't have any clothes on. She was a dollar. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Dollar? Sure, why not? Um, her hair is a different color, so I think she might have been like a hot looks skipper or something. But anyways, here's what here's what she looks like when she's outside of the box. Um, her hair was not in good shape when I got her, but I was able to kind of comb it out and make it look somewhat normal. So hopefully, eventually, I'll find an outfit for her. Maybe I can display her, but... Uh, there she is. All right. Now, I'm not sure. I think all the rest of the ones that I have are from the 90s, the early 90s. Uh, so, let's see here. Let's do this one. So this is the Hawaiian Fun Skipper doll, which I was a big fan of. Um, 
I guess her bathing suit was flashy. Her little hair bands were kind of flashy. And uh, is this, this is a Japanese one, I think. Yeah, or I think it was from Japan. There's a lot of writing in another language on this box, but it does say Skipper up here. So there is the front of the box. And that one had a whole collection as well, which I don't have any of the other ones of this one, but this is the only, the Skipper doll from that collection is the only one that I really care about. So there they are. And I actually got her uh, in a set that came with, uh, actually, you know what? I might have the Barbie loose now that I'm thinking about it. Um, they were both in boxes and the boxes were in bad shape. Like this stuff was coming apart on the sides. Um, if uh, any of my Toy Amino people are watching this, which shout out to Toy Amino, um, I actually unboxed them and took pictures on the Toy Amino app. So if you're interested, you can check me out there. Um, I guess I'll try to link my other social media when I upload this video so that you guys can follow me elsewhere. Um, Cause I do post a lot of other doll stuff on like Instagram and you know, Toy Amino, I have like most of my toys listed on Toy, Toy Amino, so you can check that out. Um, so anyways, since I got the jacked up boxes, I opened them. So here she is outside of the box, which I don't know why I was so attracted to this face. Is this like a very 90s looking face, maybe? I don't know. But her hair is very soft. Unfortunately, the, uh, the rubber bands in the older dolls, they do not hold up. They usually kind of disintegrate, so hers were in bad shape, so I had to pull those out. She did have them when I took her out of the box. <laughs> Looking fabulous. All right. Now, she also came with a little hula skirt and some little sunglasses. Hairbrush, of course. Nice orange hairbrush. And she came with this thing, which I remember because I used to wear mine. This is a bracelet for you, assuming the box tells you. Uh, and it came with like a smelly lip balm or something on the inside, which unfortunately when I opened it, it was funky. It was sealed, but I opened it and it was it was not not worth saving. But unfortunately it doesn't really smell. I, one of them smelled. I think the Barbie one maybe when I opened it still had a like a pineapple kind of pina colada whatever smell um oh there's a little sticker on the inside too which you know they were real big on having like barrettes and things that you could wear along with your doll so you can see this is definitely very 90s that sort of stripey looking you know when you used to weave your little bracelets and trade them with your friends or whatever yeah, that's what that was. A little Velcro. Which, it probably wouldn't fit me even if I wanted to wear it. Because it's kid sized. That's alright. So, that is the Hawaiian Fun Skipper doll. And, next up, it's like one of my all time favorites, guys. And again, it's, there's not, it's not that exciting, but it's pretty sweet. So, this is the Wet n Wild Skipper doll. The Wet n Wild series dolls came with bathing suits that would change color. So you can see on the front of the box that it changes to like this purple with the green kind of thing, um, which I just thought was awesome. Her, uh, her hair was really poofy, like crazy, uh, early nineties looking crazy hair. Um, and one thing that I noticed since I showed you guys my Barbie and the Rockers is that her bracelet is very similar to the original Barbie and the Rockers like spiral plastic kind of tube that you can pull off sort of thing. Um, and very similar color too. Interesting. Interesting note. And here is the collection of Wet n Wild dolls and there is also a Ken and Steven I think his name is. Can you tell me? Yes. That is also that's Steven and Ken. 
and that kind of looks like a Miko doll. That's a Kira doll. See, I'm telling you. There's all these dolls that existed and then they went away or they look the same but they changed their name. Like, I'm not sure what Mattel was thinking there. And then there's a Teresa doll, which she was, I think, short-lived as well. So, is that Christy? See, Christy, Christy was around for a minute. So, she must have been popular. They really liked her name or something. I don't know. All right. There's that one. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is actually not a Skipper doll. It's a Courtney doll. Now, I don't even know if she was around for very long, but it's essentially the exact same as a Skipper doll in the early 90s, except for she was a brunette and she was supposed to be the buddy, but they look exactly the same. Maybe their, their eye color might be different, but uh, anyways, this is the cheerleading Courtney, uh, which I had the one that I had when I was a kid and I actually ended up selling it when I got her because I was like, well, I got her in the box. I guess I don't really need to keep her. Um, if I'd kept her a little longer, I probably would have just ended up keeping her because now I actually collect the loose and in box dolls, but whatever, life goes on. Uh, so she came with like little pom poms, which I think had like a, like a stick that she could actually put in her hand so it looked like she was wearing them. Um, she had some cute little socks with her little shoes. Um, yeah, she, I like her, I like her. She's got little sparkles on her skirt, a C on her shirt, a little bow in her hair, and I think just the brush. So I think it was just like the pom-poms were the only exciting accessory that she came with, but uh, yeah, I like her. There's the back. Uh, came with this baton twirling uh, Skipper doll and a basketball Kevin, which I think was Skipper's boyfriend, maybe something like that so very like sporty looking which is funny because I have a Joey McIntyre doll New Kids on the Block which they came out with all of them but I had the, the Joey McIntyre one and his outfit looks almost exactly the same he's got like the varsity jacket with the acid wash jeans um I like the Joey McIntyre doll better and I'd show it to you guys but it's it's not in great shape I don't think he has all his stuff Maybe he's got his sneakers. Yeah, maybe I'll show it to you later. We'll see. Uh, okay, so there we go. There she is holding her pom-poms. She can cheer. There's her cute little socks and shoes. All right. And the last one I have to show you is kind of in a similar box and whatever else. Um, this is the Babysitter Skipper doll, and she came with this little baby, which I think this baby existed a long time ago. I think this baby's been around for a long time. Um, it's pretty cute, though. That's a pretty cute little baby. And she came with all kinds of accessories. She's got, uh, it's kind of hard to tell in here, but there's like a polka dotted blanket that matches her outfit. Um, baby bottle, some other stuff, some toys, I think. Uh, a little rattle, some soap. And it appears that there was also a babysitting Corny. So Corny was around for a little bit, apparently. She she must have ran a few times before they decided to get rid of her. Uh, so it looks like she also came with a little plastic boom box. Here's the baby with the bottle and the blankie and the rattle. What year is she from? No, she's from 90. So this may have been one of the first ones that they came out with where she, where her face looked like this. But I liked her very much too, and I think I liked the fact that she came with all that little crap. That was that was the appeal to me. I had, I had a thing for, still do have a thing for like little miniature stuff, little sushi and little Coca Cola bottles and all that stuff. Yeah, that, I I enjoy that stuff very much. So that's Babysitter Skipper. All right, so I believe that is the end of my. Uh, skipper collection for today so um, let me know what you guys want me to show you next I have a lot of different collections of things um, I do have some monster high dolls if you guys would like to see those I have some vintage Barbies and friends and family <laughs> if you guys want to see those I've got uh, some stuff from like the 60s and 70s like some old stuff um, I mean, I also have dolls that are not Barbie related. If you guys want to see some of those, you know, Cabbage Patch, Strawberry Shortcake, 
um, Tiny Wonders. I have all kinds of stuff. So let me know what you guys want to see. Leave me some comments. I appreciate everybody that's been leaving me feedback and let me know what you like to see. Um, so I guess that's it for now. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.